está no Brasil pela primeira vez, já fez show no Rio de Janeiro, fez show em São Paulo, depois ainda vai fazer show em Brasília e Belo Horizonte, vai fazer, uh, já fez Belo Horizonte, vai fazer Brasília, enfim, cantor e compositor americano, canadense, para mim um dos mais comoventes da nova geração, Rufus Wainwright, please! You know, I really shouldn't invite you here because each time you start to sing, I start to cry. Oh, well, well, that's yeah. good because uh, uh, it seems like each time you, you, you start to speak, everybody starts to laugh. Yeah. And uh, you need to cry more. <laughs> that's right. Because you laugh too much. That's right. <laughs> no, you really moved me. You know, uh, the first oh, time you. I saw you, uh, it was in a, in a Leonard Cohen movie, the movie, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'm a fan of Leonard Cohen. It's, I think it's something that we have in common now. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, you were doing... Uh, I, I did three songs, actually, yes, in that. Exactly. I, I did uh, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, and I did Chelsea Hotel, everybody. and I also did... And Everybody Knows, yes. And uh, please, uh, don't tell him that, but it's the first time that I, I've heard someone singing his repertoire Uh, better than him. Oh, Lord. Well, yeah. I'll tell him that tomorrow. No. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and also your sister, uh, for the yeah, first time amazing. I saw her there. And I'm, I know your mother here on the show, and I want to marry her. Yeah, I know my mother's very, very beautiful. But you're married already, though. No, I'm not. You're not? No, I oh. was married. Oh, well, okay. I'm single, yes. Well, I'll... Um, I'll uh, Give me a, give me a ring and I'll, and I'll bring it up north to Canada okay, and show it okay. to her. She's amazing. She's amazing. I'll take your earring. <laughs> no problem. I'll present it to her. Okay. <laughs> But do it. Don't keep it to yourself. Okay. You know what's amazing? Uh, there was one time in the show that you were playing and I saw there was somebody backstage taking photos and it was your mom. Yes, 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 And yes. This, this is so moving, so, you yeah, know, so incredibly yeah. uh, loving. Yes, you know? yes. You know, my mother, I mean, my mother is also an incredible singer. She, she was yeah. part of, she, her name is Kate McGarrigal and her yeah. sister, Anna. They're uh, both the, the very famous. They made famous, some incredible yeah. uh, albums in the 70s and 80s. They still might sing a lot. They sing a lot in French. And a lot actually. of folk music. A lot of also. folk music. And uh, so I grew up. Uh, you know, on stage uh, with them, and and I also, uh, yeah, I, w I was basically a, you know, a theatrical slave <laughs> as a small child, um, and and they brought us out on tour. So she's so she's always, um, you know, been such a fan of, of backstages and and stages, and you know, g going on tour buses and stuff. It's, it's and really your, your, your first time, your first time on stage. The my first time on stage. Oh God, I was probably around six or seven, um, and... Uh, That's ten years ago. Yes, yes. <laughs> it, it, yeah, I, w I wish. Um, but, uh, but no, it was probably around then. You know, we, we did a lot of folk festivals, and we had to go, I had to grow up and sing a lot of these old folk songs with very, very questionable lyrics. Mm. You know, like 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 very politically incorrect lyrics. Oh, that's wonderful. And so my so my mother would say, "Well, why don't you sing it? Because you're six years old, and nobody's going to beat you up." <laughs> <laughs> But it's, I'm so tired of, of this political correct. I think. I know, I know, I know. You know it's, it's crazy. Uh, well, especially now with with America, with you can't say that I'm the, fat anymore. <laughs> you gotta say that I possess an alternative body image. <laughs> This is tiresome. That's very funny. And uh, you're from uh, um, uh, New York originally, but uh, well, I was, I was born, born in Canada. I was born in New York, but then I was brought up in Canada. Yeah. Donc uh, vous parlez français? Oui, je comme parle vous parlez français. La même chose. Assez, assez bien. Je, je fais quelques fautes, mais, mais but, but for French people, if you make mistakes, they think it's sexy. Apparently, yeah. so I make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, you know that I, uh, it's funny because uh, I have something about Canada. I was, uh, I was 
13 years old when I was there, my mother took me, and I still have a childish fixation about the mounties, the mounted police right, uniform. Right, 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 and right. I interviewed here the consul. I said, I will if you find me a uniform. Wow, wow, and they Look at that. Where the, oh Look my that. God, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> wow, uh, wow. And I still have it. Take it away. <laughs> Take it away. But the boots are wonderful. The boots are beautiful. Yeah, they were, they're fetishistic. Yeah, boots, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Very yeah. sexy. Very and there were two guys who came to, two officers, who came just to dress me up because it's difficult. It passes through a lot of things right, and, right, and all right, that. Right, and it's right. very nice. Uh, you said uh, you speak French, of course. Yes. And you're writing an opera. This is something that I'm looking forward to hear. Thank you.